This is the best offense in Madden 23. Whether you need explosive pass plays that get open instantly. What does that do? Does that blow your mind? Plays that destroy the meta man blitz defenses. <laughs> or just an offense that you can run anywhere on the field, including the red zone. So if you want to see the unstoppable offense I'm using to complete 100% of my passes all game, forcing my opponents into rage quits, see ya. stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. In today's video, I'm once again using my Saints offense and multi-D defensive ebooks. If you guys want to see more from these books in gameplays like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. I'll be showing you guys some new offensive plays and a new blitz that you guys will probably see in a future video. But if you guys don't want to wait and you want to see a full breakdown of these or any of my offenses and defense, I will have links in the description for all my ebooks that you can download instantly just by clicking the link. You can also hit the join now button or click my Patreon link to get all of my content. And I just want to give a Special thanks to all the people that go the extra mile in this way to support my channel. You guys are the best and I can't thank you enough. The offense that I'm going to be using again today is once again my gun stack wide flex. I've already put out several explosive plays from this formation in the previous videos, including the corner strike which beats every defense in the game, the Y sail and the halfback wheel which you will see once again in this video. But today I'm going to show you guys two new plays that take this scheme to an entirely different level. But if you want to see more from this offense, I will have a link in the description that will show you the first part of this scheme that I put out in a previous gameplay. Once again, I can't overstate the importance of setting up your audible plays. You can see how fast I do it with mine. This is because I run this setup pretty much every game since it's so hard to stop, and I'm so used to putting these plays in audibles because it's really important. I want to move on to a different offensive scheme for content purposes, but I'm having a hard time leaving this offense since it's so hard to stop, and I'm having so much success, especially against man zero blitz and man defenses, which is basically what everyone is using at this point. The two plays I'm going to show you guys today absolutely destroy these defenses defenses with multiple different routes. Those two plays are the sail and pivot, which is probably the best man beating play in the game right now. Every route here beats any man coverage instantly. So since everyone is running man, this is the first play I choose every single game. The second play is the Z spot, which I went over in a previous video as well. When I come to the line, I can see my opponent is in an obvious man zero blitz based on the alignment of the safeties right in front of the slot receiver and tight end, which is perfect because that's what I want. Some people hate playing against man zero blitz like my opponents, which you'll see later in the video but since i found these plays i actually love it i switch over to the z spot because i'm trying to hit a one play touchdown right from the first play because this wide triangle receiver runs his route to the boundary that a lot of times the cornerback will play outside allowing a quick bullet pass inside away from the cornerback for an instant catch and run. When we get back to the play crawl screen, I can see he clearly was in man zero, so I probably can expect to see that again. The real star of this video is going to be the sail and pivot. Every route here beats man and fast enough that you can beat any blitz. You can try it out yourself and find out which route you like best, but for me, it's the zig route variation that the tight end is running. This is the first route that I focus on as typically the user drops to cover the middle of the field first. Once your opponent starts user covering this route, that typically leaves the other zig route on the other side of the field wide open in the middle of the field which you will see later in the video i had to throw this ball a little bit before i wanted to but you can see this route still beats man very easily ideally though it's best to wait until the tight end gets outside the safety so you can bullet and pass lead away for a bigger catch and run the inside zone is still very important part of this scheme as it's really the only run play but it's also very effective at both getting big runs and keeping your opponent user in the middle of the field which is actually more important when it comes to the pass play since i'm mostly going to be attacking outside the numbers to the boundaries. This offense is all about constantly making audibles to confuse your opponent as you can attack everywhere on the field. On the next play, I switch to the halfback wheel. The running back beats man coverage instantly also as long as you throw it as fast as you can. I mean as soon as the quarterback catches the ball, get it out of his hands by bullet and pass leading down and away from any possible defenders. This really should be used like an outside run play as it feels more like a pitch play or a halfback toss than a pass play. If I had a faster running back, that probably would have been a touchdown as well. On the next play, I go right back to it and we walk it in for an easy score. On defense, I'm using the same scheme that I put out in yesterday's video. If I see anything but shotgun, I'm going to use my number one run defense, the 3-4 odd cover four quarters. There's another video that I put out. I'll have links in the description for all this stuff. The first play he runs, though, is a pass play, and he beats me underneath for a good catch and run. It's actually a really good pass defense, too. On the next play, if I only set my DBs to play ball, I probably would have gotten a pick six. 
No. He keeps coming out in run packages, so I keep coming on my 3-4 odd, and we are knocking him back. <laughs> Next play, he calls the same offensive package, but it's third and long. So since I know he has to pass, we're going to start man blitzing his brains in. <laughs> he goes for it on fourth down because this is Madden, and that's what people do when they're trying to lose, apparently. So I use the same blitz again so his receivers can't even get 23 yards down the field. Gotcha, bitch! And he throws up a punt. Back on offense, we were going right back to the sale and pivot. The corner route on the other side is probably the most explosive route on this play. So I'm going to try to put this game away right here. As you can see how it just torches this cornerback. See ya! And we're off to the races for an easy one-play touchdown against man cover one. It's pretty. It's so pretty. My opponent goes to quit, but before he does, we get a look at the QB stats comparison, and we had a 100% completion percentage and two touchdowns in my first two drives. Good, then get the hell out of my life. Who needs you? Beat it. Leave me alone. My next game is against the team that actually won the Super Bowl, the Rams. If you're still watching, I'm going to give you a sneak peek at a new blitz I'm working on that's only in my multi-D defensive ebook, but it could be the topic of a future vid if you guys like and comment about it enough. The play is the nickel 3-3 linebacker blitz. One, man cover one is one of the better coverages in the game, and this play gets super glitchy instant A-gap and B-gap pressure. Watch the DE on this next play. If I had my fastest DE there, that probably wouldn't have been an instant sack. On the next play, I switched to cover four quarters in a different defense, and I probably brought that cornerback down a little too far as Cooper Kelp gets right over the top for an easy touchdown. Damn it! Back on offense, always set your audibles once again. I can see once again from the man alignment that it looks like he's in cover one man, and once again, we are starting by throwing outside of the tight end, and I get a huge catch and run. That probably would have been a touchdown if I had a slightly faster player running this route. Nope. On the next play, he is obviously going to watch the tight end this time, so we go right back to that corner route on the other side. And despite not getting the same separation, we get another easy touchdown as we go down the field in just two plays. On defense, my tackling is on point as I make Cam Akers look like Barry Sanders. And as my opponent goes right back down the field on me and scores on fourth down on a QB sneak. Back on offense, he is user watching the tight end, which is like I said earlier, will leave the other zig route wide open over the middle of the field. But if we pause this, you can see that really both routes are still open. I stick to my system though, take the safe throw. On the next play, I go back to the Z spot, only this time I throw the ball a little bit late and I don't get the pass lead inside and it's picked off. Yeah. His offense doesn't do much though. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Back on offense on the next play, he uses Aaron Donald and busts through my line like the blue Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah! And knocked me back for a loss. So I switch it up and I'm going to show you guys another really good man being offense that I put out recently, the Saints Fork. Multiple routes on this play beat man as well and the Saints slant flood. I'm not gonna go over these much as I have already done that in a previous video. Once again, link in the description. I will show you guys a new route that I didn't go over in that video before though. This is a trick that you might've seen in a previous video as well. If your opponent ever drops their user safety down like my opponent is here to try to stop a shorter route, whether it's man one or man two, this route gets open right where he should have been for a big play, if not a one play touchdown. He calls a timeout showing me that he's trying to save time for his offense as we score on the next play. He has over one minute in all three of his timeouts, which means I really can't play any type of prevent defense. So we're gonna house blitz every single play. We almost get a pick on the first play. On the second, the cup would have been gone if it wasn't for the fact that we get instant pressure from the blitz. He goes for it on fourth and 10 from his own territory, which makes no sense, but cup makes the play again for the first down. Whenever you're playing the Rams, it feels like it eventually gets to the point where you just have to guard Cooper Cup, and on the next play, he throws right into a double team. Nope. We get him to fourth and 10 once again, and my user is just behind the running back. I don't know why he keeps going for it, but on the next play, he throws an INT, and I see exactly why, as he rage quits, despite the fact that the game is tied. See ya. We get another look at the stat line, though, as this time we only completed 80% of our passes, but otherwise, it's felt like a very similar outcome. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. If you guys wanna see more gameplays like this, make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. I will have another gameplay video popping up on the screen of the first part of this offense. So if you guys wanna check that out, definitely help out your game. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. I'm shit out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.